In tonight's Omar Vision tutorial, I am going to go over setting up ML agents for use in a Unity project. This is just the setup because um, there's more than just a package manager. You have to kind of get the ML agents um, source code from GitHub and you have to install Anaconda, which is like, you know, something for um, dealing with Python code. So uh, I kind of put together a series of steps here that we're going to go through. So setting up ML agents for Unity, for use in Unity. And ML is machine learning or artificial intelligence, where you could give like your game characters their own little brain so that they could think of um, doing stuff on their own as if they were a player. So step one is to download the ML agents um, code. So what we have here is a link that is the link where you could go to, and that is this site right here. GitHub Unity Technologies ML Agents, or you can just search for ML Agents Download, and it's in GitHub. So this is the uh, source code. This is in Python. But if you scroll further down the page, you'll see here that there's releases. So you know today's the um, October 2020, and they have release eight. So I just downloaded the latest version. I just click on this, and I just let it go to my download folder, which gives me a zip file. Then I just take the zip file from a downloads folder, and I unzip it. So let's see what we got there in the downloads folder. Yep, I had this. So I just unzip this to a folder on my C drive. And that's this step right here. And there's no install for this. You just need to unzip the folder somewhere on your hard drive. And um, the place I did it here, this is my Unity folder from my Unity work. And these are some reusable assets. So I just kind of extracted it all here to ML Agents Release 8. And in here, these are all the files and some folders of note are the ML agents, the ML agents environment, and the project folder. So this project folder is actually a Unity project, which you could open up in Unity. All right, so that basically will get us through step one of downloading ML agents and unzipping it onto our hard drive. Step two, you know, so that we could, um, you know, work with this Python code, we need something to work with Python. So I downloaded Anaconda for Python, and this is the link. So let's see, can I double click on this and bring it up? Yes, I could. So this is the, um, the link. And if you look here on this page, down at the bottom, here are the installers. And I'm running a Windows computer and it's a 64-bit computer. So, you know, any computer you pretty much bought in the last five years is probably 64-bit. So I just installed this, which that downloads an installer. So the Anaconda thing has an installer. And that was in, I always download to my downloads folder. And that was right here. I get the installer. And this is something that you could double click to run the installation of. And then once you finish that installation, I already had it installed. Are you sure you want to quit? Yeah. Yes, I did. I already had it installed. So um, then you'll have that installed after you run the installer. And in the start menu, you will see um, Anaconda, right? And Anaconda has um, a couple of different programs. And the ones to note are the navigator and the prompt. The prompt is where we kind of like type a lot of commands and to use the ML agents. So, okay, we have the ML agents um, downloaded and unzipped. We have Anaconda installed. And now step three, we're gonna run the Anaconda Navigator so we can create a development environment for our Unity stuff that's gonna use ML agents. So that is done here um, from the start menu. Like I said, uh, where is it? Anaconda, Anaconda. And then you should see Navigator. So you open that up and it takes a while to open. It has a nice little circle logo. And eventually you'll get to the Anaconda Navigator window, the home page. And you know, these are the different um, applications that it comes with. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the environments because you know we wanna create a development environment for the things we're gonna do at Unity. So I click on the environments and then now I'm looking at the environments page. So when I just first installed this Anaconda, I only had this base root environment. Okay, and what I did is I created a new environment that I called Unity RL, and I did that by pressing the create button, and here I typed in the name for it. Okay, and I don't think you have to make the name Unity RL. I guess it's just like Unity release, right? But um, anyway, I said that, and I said create, and then it went through and it did its like, you know, little magic dance stuff, and then I had the Unity RL environment, which I am clicking on here, and it should show the, pack, the things in the environment right here. Okay, so when you make that Unity R environment, you see this stuff, All right? So that is step um, three. Okay, now step four, 
we ran the Anaconda Navigator to make an environment for, you know, the Python and Unity. Now we just want to run the Anaconda prompt, okay? And we want to run it on the Unity um, environment that we created. So here there's this little triangle, and I can say open terminal for this Unity RL environment, and I will get a command line window, and you can see here that it is running on our Unity RL environment that we created in Navigator. All right, so now when we do this, um, whoops, what happened? What happened? Where did the windows go? Sorry, hold on. This is, I, I hate this. Uh, sorry, I tapped on the windows or something like that. So now I'm in my Unity, and um, I ran the Anaconda prompt, and you can, I'm checking here that I am in the Unity RL environment, and uh, let's just activate the Unity RL environment. I could run this command multiple times because mine is activated, but let me just run through it and do it again. And I want to activate the Unity RL. Okay, so I just type in conda activate Unity RL, and then I press enter. And uh, I guess I'm activated already. <laughs> now I want to do the installation of the ML agents and the ML agents environment. I want to install these two um, projects from the ML agents unzip. So let's see, where did I put mine? Just to show you, the, here is where I unzipped my ML agents release stuff too. These are all the folders. Here's ML agents and here's ML agents environment. This is the path to them. So I could, let me see what, do I have to type the path? Let's see, let me take a look here. Pip install, you need to activate unit URL, install ML agents, I have to do a pip install. All right, so let's try that. Let's say pip install dash E M ML agents. And then I just press enter. Okay. And I press enter and it says is not a valid editable record. Um, should, okay, so maybe I have to change my path. All right, since this is C users Omar, um, I should change my path to, let's see here. This is the folder. This is the path. So let me just copy this address and here I'll say CD to change directory to that. So now this is my path. And now let me see if the pip command will work. pip install dash e ml agents. OK, because that's the name of the folder, ml agents. And now we press Enter. And it will install. So since mine was installed already, it went by pretty quick. But yours you know, may take a little bit longer if it's really installing for the first time. Mine was already installed. And that is the ml agents folder that I installed. Now let me install the ml agents environments folder. So I'm in the right path here. I did a CD, and I'm going to type pip install. It's the same command, dash E, and I kind of can't see what it says. Dash E, ML agents, and environments. That's the name of the folder, OK? And then I just press Enter, and it'll, it will install that folder too. All right, so now these two folders are installed with Anaconda. And we could verify if the install works by typing an actual command for ML agents learn. So this ML agents learn command, this is the command we would type after we made a Unity project with an ML agent and we want that agent to start training. We would come into this Anaconda command prompt and type ML agents learn. But I'm going to do it here without any Unity project because you'll see when I type this command, it's going to um, show me something that proves to me that the install worked. You know, I'll have these things, but the big thing that I'm looking for is this nice little Unity picture. You see that Unity picture that just went up there? So it's working. I got the ML agents um, Python code installed and working. All right, so that's good to go. Now there's a, so basically I just, this is the one half of installing all the Python stuff for ML agent. All right, let me just put this window over here. And then I'm gonna try another example here. If I were in Unity now, you know, the place where I actually wanna do all my coding and using this stuff. So let's open up a Unity package and see if things look right in, in Unity for me to be able to use ML Agent. So I'll just make a new project. And ML Agent, you know, it'll work with 2D, 3D, whatever, because it doesn't matter about the Unity project type. It just matters that it's a Unity project. So I'm going to make a 3D. And this is to test my ML Agent um, install. All right. And I'll just say Create. And I'll wait for it to rev up. Now I have like a project here. This is just, you know, the default 3D project, brand new. And what I want to do is install the package now. So in Unity, there's an ML agents package. So I'll go to Package Manager. And luckily at this time, October 2020, the ML agents package is not in preview mode. So I just have to, let's see here, these are in project. I'm just going to switch to Unity Registry and scroll down to the ML agents right here. And I can install this. Now, make a note that right now in my assets, I only have the scenes folder. Now when I install ML agents, 
It's going to install. And then it finishes installing when the button turns to up to date and remove. So I can close this now. And I could have sworn it had a folder that was going to show up here. And down here, see I have ML Agents folder right there. Okay. Now if I were to make a script, uh, let me see, let me just put a, a cube in here. And on, now just to test things, right? If I were to make a script for this cube, this is just to test, see if everything's kind of right. Let's call it test. <laughs> I didn't have to make the cube even. Anyway, I double click on test, open up in Visual Studio. And here we go. This is the default model behavior script that Unity creates when you create a new script. And um, a test here to see if everything is working right, if the um, ML Agents package is installed right. I should be able to type the word agents here. And it's going to be able to add the using, where is it? Using Unity ML Agents over here. OK, so if I'm able to add Unity ML Agents, the ML Agent thing is there. and the C-sharp recognizes this class, All right? So that means like, I'm ready to go. I'm ready to start coding some stuff here in Unity with the agent thing, but that's gonna be in, um, you know, another tutorial, not this one. This one's just about setting up. So, uh, you know, this Unity project is ready to go and start coding some ML agent stuff. Now, another test without me having to write any code, I'm gonna actually open up a Unity, um, the example projects that they have in the download. So let me just close this. And that is uh, here, number six, ML agents. You know, if I look in the unzip folder, there is, a, you know, the ML agents and the ML agents envelopes. And another important folder is this project folder. This is, this is a Unity project, okay, that has all the examples. So this is how you open that up. Um, let's see, I go to the Unity hub. And now I just want to, how do I do this here? Boop, 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 add. And I just kind of go to that folder and project, select it. OK. And now, see, this is that from the ML agents unzip, the project folder. And now I could open this up, and it's going to have all these different sample projects. Um, so for example, uh, you know, when I, that project folder here in the assets, it's going to have the ML agents folder. And the ML Agents folder is going to have examples. So if I look in the examples, there's all these different examples that I could take a look at. Um, and then if I go in the 3D ball one, I go, they all have a scenes folder. And these are the scenes I could open. So this right now is a scenes for this balance a ball on your head um, AI example. And if I run it, uh, you're going to see that each of these 3D balls here have an agent. The agent is a thing that has a brain. It has an agent script and a behavior parameters script. And here in the behavior parameters, this model, and, and this is the neural network model, this is the file that um, is its, bra its brain. So if I were to use ML agents and do a train, you know, train something, basically the end result is it makes a, an end file, a neural network file. And that file, I could drag it into my Unity project and then kind of put it right here on the behavior parameters model. And this is the actual brain. All right, now the agent script is the thing that um, each of these game objects have that um, communicates with the ML agents to, you know, help train the brain. And when you add an agent script, it it's going to add a um, behavior parameter script. Anyway, so this is an example like of the balancing head. If I run it, these are trained. This is a, a trained uh, neural network where these characters are going to bounce balls on their head. So you can see these balls. It's pretty well trained that the balls will stay on the head. There's other projects here. Let's see. There's the um. What's another one I looked at? Well, I didn't look at Crawler. Let me look at it now at you guys. <laughs> Scenes. And let's try this first one. Crawler with a dynamic target. Interesting, what I'm seeing here. Uh, so it's a Crawler with a dynamic target. I wonder what this one's going to do. Let's press play. And let's see what happens. It takes a while for these things to start up. Oh, look at that. OK, so there's a target. And then the AI actually figures out how to crawl to it. And I know a trick that they do for training so that it tra things train faster is they usually, instead of just having one um, agent that is being trained, they usually have a bunch of, the, they make a bunch of copies of that as a prefab, and they all train on the same brain to help train faster. So that's the crawler. And, you know, you can just have fun going through here looking at stuff. Food collector, push block, pyramids. I want to see what this one looks like. Um, scenes. Is this anything getting done here? Uh, let's see. Let me load it. Is it going to make like a pyramid or something? I wonder. Press play. So it's just kind of curious. This just shows you the potential 
of what you could do. It looks like a crawler again to me. Uh, okay. That one didn't show me anything. Let's see, a reacher. Now I'm just being curious. But uh, the tutorial is basically over. You know, I, I downloaded and set up uh, everything for use. Let's see what this one does. Reacher. Do, do, do. Reacher, reacher. Um, is it that there's a ball and the arm just reaches for the ball? I don't know. Weird. Very weird. And I think there's something here like um, some sports, like... Where is it? Tennis. Let's see this thing. They trained it to play tennis. They trained some agents to play tennis. And this will be the last one I see. Okay. Oh, look at that cool little tennis rackets and everything. And I want to see this. So the better that you train the brain, like the, um, you know, like the longer you let the brain train until I think you have, it get, the brain kind of gets uh, better and better at whatever it's going to do. You know. So I guess if you wanted to make an ML agent that is easier to beat, <laughs> you could have it not have gotten trained so far, so so long, so it's not going to be so smart. And then once the training's done, the whole idea is you take that NN file, that neural network file, and you kind of plop it in your a in your assets and put it on the, on the ML agent model. So the ML agent model will run off of the brain file instead. Yep. All right, so that's uh, how to um, install and set up ML agent to, for use within Unity. And I think the next pro the next video I'll do will be actually trying to make my own ML agent, something really simple. Have a good night. You made it to the end of the video. I'm so proud of you. This is my website. The main thing I wanna show you is that for any of these videos that you've seen on YouTube, I have the tutorial section, which has the blue links for the projects and the orange links are the files. Also, you could go over here and play some of the games we made in the game camp.